This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Absolutely. She has jumped well since she's going into the lineup here. Absolutely. Tip off goes to the lady engineer. That's a three from D. That one did not go there for Wilson. As you can see right now, the pace and the tempo is going to be pretty far for both teams. Holly shot the ball very quickly. Can't say Wilson with ball in his first shot. But this one from Bland. She has the ball for Pikesville. Has the ball it's a fur, that's a three, no good. Wilson with the rebound. Probably looking to push. Oh, yes, we all have. Very nice. Asia Robinson, the junior, puts it down. Asia Robinson, the Great pass. She probably playing the, the three two. Or the one two two going there. Ooh, she was not looking. Already good pass. Just not prepared for it. Back to the engineers. Lady engineers, that is. We're gonna let that one go wide and let Polly keep possession. Polly a little too aggressive. Just need to work the ball back and forth on the, uh, the two two run plus. Try to make the big play. Both teams will see them each tomorrow, and that's a foul. As Pikesville will meet McDonough. Almost the next door neighbor. Like Pilates and Pilates. A lot of talking about that. That's going to be a good game. I understand that Pilali is doing very well in the IWM. We all know that Pilali is a good team in the public sector, so it's going to be a really good game. I look, I'm, for, I'm looking forward to seeing that matchup tomorrow. Question about that one. Second shot here for Daisy Towns. Yes, indeed. 
I remember that young lady when she was a baby. She was a baby on the AAU circuit right now doing really big things. Uh, two good shots, two big shots. Big guard, 5'11", long, athletic, really good play. Early four not from lead for the defending Baltimore City champion, Lady Engineers. Out of bounds, fall back. Probably I'm sure this is so far, Piper. Yeah, just I just got to settle in against the zone. Probably is long, very athletic. Side, nice turn. Patty with the finish there. Patty will on the inside. And we'll just transfer it into my MD. the shot. Robinson with a plan inside. No good. Patty, and now the numbers game where Polly can really take advantage. That's a foul. He's coming to shoot too. We love to see this Robinson make that. Foul call on the back of his new board. Right now, it's the same thing as playing basketball right now. We'll be seeing uh, senior leadership on the Pirates team. I have some coming into play right now. Uh, I just think that uh, Pirates team is a center down. And Pirates are going to come to him a little bit. First shot goes down. And so they used Polly Weston they played in December. And Polly was able to get the advantage. But we get to see, in my case anyway, I get to see Weston them all night. And uh, they're looking good with little mama there and a young team for a historic program of the Ducks. Absolutely, this will be my first time getting a chance to see Weston as well. First time seeing Polly play. But, uh, again, once you, once you know the coaches here in the city, you know that Polly's going to be a very well oiled machine and they're going to be a good team. Nice inside move, just didn't finish. Roberts could not get the finish there. That's a three. Oh, hits off the side there for Robertson. Ball will stay with the lady engineer. Quick shot with five nine guard up. Uh, Polly engineers. Again, Polly's looking to push the pace a little bit, get the ball up on the glass very quickly. Oh, got him with the travel call. Yep. Just go ahead and do it. Don't think about it. Think about put the ball on the floor, attack the basket. I think that was her thought in the beginning, and she hesitated. Nothing to leave here for Polly. In a year where that one did not go. Look like it's going to be Newtown and Pikesville in Baltimore County, and that's a nice yes. layup goes in. There's a timeout there. Early 10 nothing to leave here for Polly. And they say we Pikesville in the zone. Bishop Spalding, Newtown, and Mercy Coach. And, whew, that's a great thing that Al Shem is doing here in, in Baltimore, man. It's a great tournament. So many teams participating, and that's a good thing. Speaking of uh, Pilates, they're taking on St. John's Catholic Prep as we are uh, speaking now. You know that result already, folks. But uh, <laughs> that's going to, I mean, there might be the surprise of all of those basketball here in the area. St. John's Catholic Prep. I think they're second in the IAM right behind St. Francis. And they just lost their coach, so, so that's oh, all these volumes for them. Yes, it is. Again, as you can see, Polly is looking to push the pace, get the ball off the rim, push run the floor. Karis Ferguson, Made another transfer from Ryan D. Karis Ferguson, the game. 
piece of penny. So uh, IND has been good to pilot, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Look, look, Polly and Pilati, and they both meet each other tomorrow night. As we're taping, huh? It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Pilati is up at the program in the A Conference in the IWA. You already know Polly's an established team. Uh, runner ups in the state championship last year, so it's going to be a good one. There's a length again of Polly. Finish with the left. Good job. Oh. Downs missed it wide there, and the rebound didn't go either. Just, just a little nervous energy for Karis Ferguson. Settle down, make the shot. Great job of trailing. Just finish. Bay. Looking to set things up here for a bike. Here. See Miss Towns out front with another steal. There she goes again. Goes to Towns with the outlet. Again, getting the foul call. It's Robinson again. You can see she's been on several fast routes. Been out front. Three or four times. Going to the line again to shoot you to add to this lead. Leah Robinson at the line. Two games. It's like 11 nothing. Brian Clark. Salute. Second shot goes as well. 12 nothing game here. I mean, right now you would think that this uh, feels good being down 12 nothing. Still got a lot of time left in the first half, three minutes to go in the first quarter, I'm sorry. Give an opportunity to settle in. Still like still plenty of time in the first half itself. That's a three. Ah, tip the miss. Long three, but that's the best shot that they've taken tonight. Good looking shot, strong, positive. No hesitation. No shots to start knocking going down. Side, blocking foul. First team foul against Pfeiffer. Again, right now, Pfeiffer does have a foul and probably has none. So Pfeiffer needs to attack the basket, put the referees in a position where they have to make a foul. Okay. So he's the pilot getting home. That is the fourth team foul. That just went wide there. Going back to the Lady Panthers. Got to see New Hope coach and uh, Riverdale Baptist, I tell you that. That, that Walker girl from uh, New Hope, she can play. She can play. And those, not, I always say, man, those schools are going to always have the best players because, you know, they get the opportunity to do things that a lot of schools can't do. So with that being said, First bucket inside the Pikesville. Great execution by the Steve Roberts, the freshman. It's off the back, no good. That was the rebound of town. Lost off his foot. Jason Foster's foul. Really a good battle inside between Kareth Ferguson and the freshman from Pikesville. Good move. And one. How about the freshman with all four points so far? And the uh, they the oh, they didn't count the last one. Uh, did not. Wow. I don't know. That's a good situation, man. Great move for the freshman. But again, now you see him probably still settling down, getting the ball inside. Not just settling for jump shots, making the game. Oh, 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 oh. It. Stepped out. Back to the lady engineer. You know what? You've had that call about five, six times today in the boys' game as well. Just, just got to know where you are on the floor. And again, offenses are so wide now. The game's so wide. Everybody wants to spread the floor. Uh, so they're trying to maximize the space. But sometimes you get on the end. In the last game, we had uh, one of the guys from Woodlawn threw it out of bounds to his teammate, thinking he was in the game. And he wasn't. That's a three. Oh, that went in and out there for Grace. Davis Grace comes in and throws up a long three. Long distance jumper. No good. Offensive rebound. Oh, man. Barnes tried to get it. Oh, he's going to get the foul. Oh, look out. Good hustle, good energy, good effort. Good ball. Nice throw. What I love in the girls' game, see the sportsmanship. Yeah. Two girls battling one on the floor, they help one another out. So even though we're playing on the floor, man, the friendship is still there. 
Harley goes back to the zone again. Two minutes left here in the quarter. And still by far held down to their lowest total to start the game. So they can turn it around. Nice defense there and a foul. Great screen. Foul call here, number three. Jordan Burks has his first personal foul, team foul number two. Subs coming in for Polly now. Asia Towns comes back in the game. Asia Petty is back in the game. Only play on the floor that has a sub is Cassay Wilson. Fisher back over. Nice move by Robinson to miss high. Jump ball. What do they call a foul instead? One thirty here left in the first four. And a foul. Sixteen foul already against Franksville. Again. These girls are getting long. They're long. You can get into to teach the defense. You can get good passes. I think she was passing that ball as well. Trying to get Daisy. Um, Patty. Patty's got such good hands. And she got it in there. Holly in full pass and now he's in the left to help with that zone. Huge bucket. bucket. They're gonna play the first two shooting out there. Shoot down on three. Sterling with the three. Cuts the lead to single digits and that. Seconds left here in the first. The other way comes Pikesville. Quarter. Lines down. Swings it. Long distance too. And now. Nice. They finding spots in that zone now at Pikesville. Pikesville's nice starting to settle down a little bit. Rim's getting a little bigger for him. Big cover shot. Right now they're being very physical with Pikesville. Major Tech is in the 17 seconds. Green pull up. Side, no good. And Coach over there said, push the tempo for Pikeville. The quarter draws nine to a close. Throws it up, no good. After one, it's a 14 6 lead. Holly over Pikeville. Second quarter coming up here for the basketball cap. Second quarter here begins the last nine with Chris Armstrong with you here. Holly, looking good early, but offensively got a little stagnant at the quarter end. Yep, and then you see right now, Pikesville goes to the 2-3 zone. Change it up a little bit, give him a different look. Daisy Towns in the turnover. I don't know, they may have, uh, probably may have, uh, Step a little bit. Uh -oh. I don't I'm not know say it right now, but it, it, it seems it seems a little lethargic. A state right champion now. and a county champion as well. Uh, speak on that. That's a three at tip the mess. Ooh, nice hustle there by the Lady Panthers. They got it back. They shoot a three. Again. There you go. Boom. Right. Gotta find her. Gotta find her again. Probably pushing the pace. They did. And one, I 
Cavaliers. At, well, you said that to hurry up. Now they're rolling. They're all the way up the court. It's Robinson again. About, about as fast as that boy's team. There as well. Robinson again. Again, probably is getting the ball out the basket. One pass, outlet, layup. So their transition game is very, very good right now. You can tell there's something that Chris Harris has been working on this year. And again, if they weren't taking them serious, they are now. Uh, they weren't. They it's a county champion. Yeah. But again, Price is starting to come. They feel better. Young lady number 15 is, uh, she's, she's ever, she can shoot it. Yeah, she can. She can shoot it, man. Both teams again got big matchups in the public private challenge in their next game. So I guess sometimes you see that hurdle. Still gotta go through each other first to get there. That one missed high. The other way. Oh. Missed it wide. I still gets it back. Pushing that a little too deep. This Robinson should go ahead and outlet the ball sooner and got it back. But I think we've seen that a couple of times in there. The decisiveness on the boys' side and the girls' side of how to handle the two on one, three on two situation. Oh, yeah. and, and I was going to say that defense is extended back now to the three point line. Absolutely. Again, Polly pushes the ball quickly. Oh, that's a three. Keep going. In and out there for Wilson. It's going back to Pike, though. No. And then Polly, that's her first shot of the night. I think she got to get the ball up there. She got to see some shots, some downhill cuts for her. One of the better players on the Polly basketball team. Lady Engineer Team Solo. I haven't even seen a freshman yet. Uh, Trini Massenburg. She played some big minutes against Rodolf Ashley when we got her last. Inside. Nothing goes in right now. Only defense. Drop that arm down. The freshman back coming up. And she's coming to shoot too. Massenburg right. did a good job. In the zone. 80% is going to Great job of finding her. She went to the basket strong as she's supposed to. Let's go Gums. This is interesting here for the freshman. You got two freshmen in 21. On both sides, look like they're going to play who's dividend for their teams, especially Robert. Even though she just missed the first free throw to half, I think she's about to. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. She, she, I think she started as well, right? Yes. So that's, that's big. When you're a freshman, you start in a high school. That, that pays homage to your game and the work that you have and the coaching staff working with you. So it's one of those situations where she'll settle in and start making these shots. Not that short as well. A little nerves, I would say. There, absolutely. absolutely. Wilson with it. the back. There comes the Lady Panthers. Good job of getting back. Inside the Roberts. Spin move. Good move. Ah, Mr. Clyde. Just keep going, young lady. Just keep going. It'll go. It'll go. The other way comes the Lady Engineer. Floater. A little short. Here comes Huntsville. Game's getting a little faster now. A little up and down tempo. Out. Gonna stay with her. That's a great tip. Because had that not been tipped, we'd have gone right into the corner to the high on the coach. And she was wide open four. again in that zone. Timeout call. Timeout call there. Bye. Holly. We're gonna take 30 seconds ourselves, Ruth. The game action and that one. Oh, what a save! What a hustle Effort. there. Look up. Got it in there. Again, 
today, Ms. Robinson is running the floor. Here the product of several one outs in this game. Who's at the lead back to 10 again? Here for the lady engineer. While he's extending the defense. Seems to be that spin move is a move that all the bigs have. Yes. Fight drill. Back for the time. Got to look at the clock. Three, two, deep three. Almost. Almost. Back. Almost indeed. Nice offensive rebound there by Fisher. She's coming to shoot too. Oh, double dribble. No. Nope. Right. The other way. Loose call. For Polly, good active game for it. Didn't get, didn't get touched the ball a lot. A lot of activity though. Definitely active on the defensive end. She's a sub normally for Patty. That's a drive. Took the miss. Over. Lost it. Real Clark, that was a good move. Just couldn't finish. Just couldn't finish. It's a three. Hits it. Great clock. Double pressure. This is pulls up and shoots a long three. Obviously, it shows the confidence that Coach Pace has. Coach Pace Able has in her players. Made a lot of pressure on the floor, shooting threes. Working with three minutes left in the second quarter. A lot of confidence from Coach Able. Very deep poly team indeed, and the ball will stay with Tyson. Hey, she was a part of the tip. Shoot a layup, miss, shoot a three, make it, now come down and play defense. Just shows you the aggressiveness of Polly. Very well coached team. Play together, play for each other. But again, Tyson was right here. Dry. Lost her off the hands and the foul. Good push. Again, I'd like to see Polly try to front that grab it's on the box when the ball's on that ball. You know, when you go to the next level, you know, the, ball, the big catches the ball in front of you, 90% of the time you're going to foul. Almost turned on. Nice hands there yes. by Fisher. And again, there's that freshman again. Back. Clark finishes the deal. Time out by Pikeville. There's that freshman again. There's that freshman again. We're going to keep it here. And, uh, some of the other matches tomorrow, we're talking about Coach Hall and Mount Carmel. They got power. One of the best teams in Howard County. I think they might try to You know, Rob, Rob's, Rob's been laying a foundation out there for a long time. So I think last year he had some success. Um, I think he's having success this year. So it should be a great matchup. I know they're going to play hard. And our going to play hard. I know they're going to get competitive. Uh, as far as how we're they're a good team. So it's going to be good. Public versus private. The great thing about it is you have good matchups. You don't have a number one player, a number 11 or 12. You have twos and threes playing against each other. So the game's going to be interesting all day tomorrow in the public versus private. Fortunately for me, every time we play public versus private, we won. So that's a good thing for me. We have more solidarity on the college end this year than on the boys end. That layup goes. Good pass. Good pass and good position. Number 15, I like this to shoot threes. She shoot layups as well. Three. I'm going to tip the missed off the back. Fisher. That's a cheap foul there. Not a good foul for Miss Towns. Being the same. Foul call the lady in the air. Ladies and gentlemen, the first person. Team foul number five. 
and he comes back and he's just tried to do a little bit more offensive, but they're still in the rhythm of how Powell likes to play. Absolutely. Until they get out of that rhythm, I think it's going to be a not a stranglehold, but a tough way to go. Again, as long as Paulie getting the ball off the glass and running, it's going to be difficult for Pikesville to stop that transition. And again, when you shoot threes, you get long rebounds, and when you get long rebounds, you get out of it. It's a three from deep. Hits it! There you go. That's a second three out there. That's good. And she's shooting it from deep, too. But again, right back to what I said, she misses one of those shots. A lot of spacing in the finish there for the town. Good job, Miss Towns. Great job, mid range floater. If she can get it going, it's going to be tough for Pikesville. All right. Holly and St. Francis, boys and girls, meet in this building on the 25th of January. Really? What a matchup both of them will be. Man, I hope I'm a part of that. That's going to be yeah, a good man. one. Come on. That's going to be a good one, man. Hey. Damn, blocked away. Yeah. 130 left. That's a jumper. No good. Yeah. Again, in that mid-range game, you would like to see the freshman make that out of that pass earlier as opposed to getting that shot blocked. You should have learned to continue to play. One twelve left here in the quarter. Robinson again. Can she make it three? Mm. Oh, off the back. Ball going back to Pilot. Oh. 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 Just, just a little too aggressive. Maybe they feel like she fouled it, but a little too aggressive from behind. So, uh, just kind of good. Ladies and gentlemen, you're here to go. The Breeder, caught at the line, one and one. These are two good teams. I'm, not, I'm really I'm really impressed with what Coach Dukes has done at Pikesville. Really, really impressed with him. Definitely are, man. He is. We've grown to expect it from Coach B. Saban. We've grown to expect her to always be in contention. But uh, to see Pikesville right now being in this position and representing the way they have, it's a good thing for Baltimore County as well. No question about it. And uh, both teams got some deep talent. We'll go inside. Nice mid range game in that goal. Good shot for the first one right there. Roberts again. Good shot. Good shot. No hesitation. On team. Let's <laughs> see. I'm sure Massenburg like those two points, though. Yeah. Can't help that. Oh, yes. There you go. Just pounds again. Again, if she gets going, attacking that pass on her side, it's going to be tough for uh, Pikesville. And the Lady Panthers get the final shot. About a half. Robinson with the hustle. Hustle. Yeah. Thought they were going to get Miss Towns with a foul on that one. 1.4 left, enough time to catch and shoot. Oh, still. If she put it up in time, hold up. Halftime, the Baltimore City defending champion, 28. Miley and the defending Baltimore County champion, 16. Second half coming up. I do you hear from the BWG. After this.
here. Motorcycles, Chris Armstrong, which is any adjustments you expect to see from both sides in the second half? I think Paulie's going to do a better job of closing out on the shooter in the corner. Uh, I think that's um, job about a rebound, about a freshman. He does it again, Robert. Ooh, nice strip from under by town. Pass, you got ball. numbers. Oh, look out. Everybody's all right. Everybody got up. Everybody's still playing. Good. You missed there. I think one of the adjustments was probably blocked away. Pikesville decided they're going to pressure the ball as soon as the ball is rebounding. Robinson has not seen a lot of transition. Offensive rebound back. Third chance. I missed. Another chance. That one goes in for Sterling. Yeah. Yeah. That's more than just shoot three. He's got to put a body on the box out. 28-18 game. That's a three. Front end mess. Again, we missed a run out. Huntsville just missed a run out. I'm sure they're going to talk about that later. Big three. Three. That's a rebound. Got it. Sterling got four. That's a reach eight now. Again, early in the first half, she was shooting the ball on the wing. Now she's down in the paint and closing her wheel. Harley just got to get a little more aggressive. Good move by a senior. Let's settle it down, slow it down. Let's get some good to the basket. Pass in Wilson, go strong to the basket. Creates a foul. Third personal first eight foul. Pass in Wilson at the line. Shooting two. He's got foul for the senior. It's a foul. Trinity Massenburg, number 21, checks in, late in the year. Dakota Fisher, in the game. Second shot in there. Good form from a senior standing in strong. Lead back up to 10 again here yeah, for the lady engineer. Some of the best look like Tanisha Robinson, number 20, for probably is getting something done to her ankle, trying to get her ankle taped up. Um, that's going to be a big miss for Polly until she returns. Again, she probably has. 8 10 points on run out layups alone and transition layups. I don't want to say run out and transition layups alone in the first half. Returning this game. Yeah, who you? Hughes loss. Hughes loss. Bay, shot clock at 8. Block. Defense by Miss Towns again. Senior leadership. Long. Transition. Get the steal, make a layup. Seniors. It's always good to have senior leadership on the field. No question about it. Polly kind of corral Pikeville back. So you're going to play our style still. Robinson. No good. Out of bounds. Pikeville gets a bounce. Lucky. And they get it back. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. But right now, Pikeville needs to settle down. Get the ball inside of the hole. Take advantage of the size that you have. Uh, you can see now Daisy Towns is now playing the four. Yes, she is. As opposed to playing the, the guard in the offense right now. They are Wilson on the push. Wilson. Go to the freshman and the finish. Last and burn. A big run in the floor. When a big runs the floor, you got to reward him. And that's a good job by Cassie and Wilson of doing that. Again, all transition. Gets it back at three. No, this is two. It's good. No good. That's a rebound. No good there by Scott. Here comes Wood. Towns trying to go close to goal. Right. Real right. Seven and eight in the air. Number 20 in the air. Bell in the building. Seven and eight in the air. Land. Robinson checks back in. Obviously, what is going on with the Pass a little too strong for Nassim Burke. I don't think the freshman expected that. I think a pass was wanted there by Pikeville. 
and they could not get it. Again, how do we operate the two on one? Three on two transition. You gotta, you gotta do the right thing. Sounds like I guess you're gonna regret that one. Don't pick that foul up. Put out of control, just settle down, take good shots. Sterling inside it took the tip Into the hands of Tank. Back over. Shooting two there. There's Paul. Man, the quarter's gone quick already. It's four minutes into it. I don't know what's faster this quarter to halftime. <laughs> they all, they all, it's all going fast, right? But I would say the halftime, definitely. <laughs> But again, great out, great good out that pass from Polly. Outlet to the freshman. She's on the line for two shots. I'm sure as she continues to progress in the game, she'll make that shot. But it's a great outlet pass, man. And Polly is looking to run. Definitely looking to push the tempo. Polly, one of the future games. Hopefully, first private tomorrow. You'll see that action here next week on the guys from that Absolutely. Second in for Friday's in the fourth of the game. She transferred from second. <laughs> Sterling with a with a uh, Saturday afternoon like move there to get that one in. Sterling has been the offense for Pikes for this game. Oh, this is two. No good. Rebound there to Fisher. And with high school coach, they only have two seniors here this year. Good young team. That's, that's the key to good coaching. Always, always have a good nucleus of old and young so that you never have a down year. You never eight, nine, ten seniors and nine trying to rebuild. As I'm looking at it, I would love to see Pikesville pass the ball in the two-on-one so that they can get transition layups. Because that's what Powell is doing. Powell is doing the ball when you're scoring. And True Bland was able to get that individual bucket there. Still a 12-point lead here for the Lady Engineers. Stay, stay with you here. Out of this time out, what do you think Polly needs to do to keep their momentum going? I think that Polly needs to continue to ride the wave with the piece hot right now. Right now, it's Miss Towns. She's got hot. She's number three person to the game now. I'm sorry, not much. I apologize. Miss Robinson is back in the game. She so she can get out and run a little bit. But uh, so right now, Miss Towns got a hot hand. Stay on that. But then I'd love to see Pikesville just settle down in the two on one game. In the transition game. Give the ball up early and get it back at the basket. As opposed to going one-on-one -on -one and that's getting turned over as well. And no points. Because that's technically a four-point swing. You know, if you don't score on this one and they score here, that's a four-point swing. Play right to the hand. But again, you just said that Price goes young. And that's what's going on.
talked about last year that Pilate I and D matchup down in Ace Creek Street went to overtime and it was fantastic. Whoever thought we'd come a year later and a lot of that talent is on that Pilate team that was already loaded coming into the season. Yeah, I mean, uh, I and D is going through a transitional period right now, so Pilate was a benefit of that. Oh, great transition. Oh, wow. And we missed the layup. You got to finish those when you're having a game like this. No great plan. look, got to finish. Now look what we get. Exactly. And she doesn't miss. Four point swing again. I know Bland is saying, man, that should have went in for Viper. Absolutely. And I think that Miss Ferguson from Pilate is looking pretty good. But again, didn't, didn't hurt her on that transition layup. Defense. A little behind shot there. Yeah, a little frustration, a little desperation right now. I see a lot of one-on-one -on -one right now. Oh, man. Wilson to the 10. Puts it in. That's exactly what Pikesville does not want to do. do. Open up and transition. And the caboose is starting to run down Cold Spring Lane here. It's a 16-point lead. Yeah. The, the pass again. There and you finish. go. Good nice left hand finish. Shout out Bob, uh, Morgan State University for allowing this event to, be, to take place here. The young lady from Rolling Park, Jamal Henson, is uh, one of the freshmen here at Morgan that's having a pretty good basketball season. So, again, high school basketball in, in Baltimore, Maryland is, is in a good place right now. And we've been promoting the DMV area throughout the year, and it's been a fantastic year so far out of bounds. Good job of defense like that. Now, Ferguson down here. Just missed the layup on the other end, but it'll come. Just keep working. Got a lot of basketball that we play. And don't press and get caught up in makes and misses. Nothing to turn about. It's fair play, no doubt. Robinson, the senior, one of the two seniors on uh, this fight for team. Really noticing the coach, he's able to grow with our seniors a lot more in the lineup. Towns and Wilson, those two girls are staying on the floor. Good entry pass. Good entry pass. Sterling at the line. She's coming up the floor. It's only the first team foul against Pilot. She got, she got 20. Pikesville has 26 points. I guarantee you that she has 17, 18 of them. She's, she's really keeping on this basketball game. And I love that she continues to play. Doesn't let the, the score impact will affect the way you see approaching the game of basketball. Exactly. It's like a shot in there. Second block here and the third. See the speed? Now you see the speed of Miss Wilson coming into play. Oh, I'm about to say. Hesitated. Yeah, big time coach. Big time. Hesitated. Trust what you see. That's what all coaches would tell players all the time, trust what you see. And then sometimes we get mad when they trust what they see because we don't see the same thing, but that's <laughs> part of the game. Trust your players enough to give them the freedom to be athletes, not, not to be robotic. And when you look at Polly right now, uh, Ms. Ferguson is just playing free, Towns is playing free, Wilson's playing free, Richardson's playing free. They're having fun playing basketball. Right Bounce it inside, Sterling. Offensive rebound. Bat it back one more time. Pike throw gets another shot at it. Good, Two. Good big Two. move. Good big move. Last finish. Been that kind of night for, for Pikeville. So when you look at the game, I think Polly has more people going to the glass than Pikeville. Does. Those guards got to get in and rebound for Pikesville in order for them to have the opportunity to crawl back into this game. Pretty good team indeed, always around. Mm -hmm. A little tough on the now since they split up the divisions in the city. They had Division two on their own. Uh, Sterling again. Oh, yeah. This young lady is playing basketball. Oh. She's playing the right way. Ain't got the scores in the ship. Hover up off the, off the court. Definitely. I love what you see right now. From the junior. Wow. 
comes back. That's, that's a great, for Coach Dukes, man, that's a great sign of recruiting the right way, building your program the right way. Shot clock going down, travel. And they went back to the call. We train, every trainer trains and move. Love to see you pass the ball. Trying to split two people. I'd love to see you pass the ball because if two people are on you, someone's wide open. So, right. But so again, they're young and they'll learn that as, as it continues to go. Oh! Yes, sir. Hey, count. Yes, sir. Hey. Yes, sir. Hey. Yes, sir. Hey. A testament to the strength and conditioning program at college. She shot that ball. Back with the fourth quarter here of this one, and I feel, Coach, the tempo has hurt them here against Pilot. Yes. Bay with it. Let's see what she can do. Oh, got stripped from, oh, Towns is just doing a little bit of everything. Both right ends, man, both ends. Wilson. I think when I watched Polly walk into the game today, they walked in the gym with so much confidence and so much swag about themselves. <laughs> Not saying we're, the, we're better than everybody else, but we're confident in what we do. And that, again, that starts with the coach. That was not wise at all. Just starting your offense too far away from the basket and dribbling too much, you know, all coaches say all the time, pass the ball and cut. Again, Coach Dukes is doing a great job with the young team that he has. Yeah, he's going to get them right. Like I said, they, they get McDonough on their next game. At McDonough, though, that's really the only problem. It's, um, it's a home game. Ooh, what a three. Big three. The Greg Clark, and she's waving to the fans like, give it up, come on, come on. I know she's looking for her parents in here to stand up and cheer for that shot, man. She's having a great game. 18 so, point man. lead here for Polly. And could the door be shutting here for Pfeiffer? Ah! Polly don't need any help. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's just, you can see the frustration going on out for Pfeiffer right now. And I hope that they won't be discouraged by this game. This is a, Polly's a really good basketball team. Yeah. And they're going to be a good team as well. Thirty-six left on this. Pick and roll. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yeah. Good two-man game. Good two-man game. Again, Polly's having fun, man. They are having yes, fun. They are. Right up by that biggest league twenty, and you can't really tell at this point that Miss Parker is a freshman. Can you? No, can you? Can't tell. Off the glass and in by Bay. Get right for Pilate. Up and then later on in the month, St. Francis girls, Polly girls, right here. They're at Morgan, and then St. Francis boys, and get it on with Polly boys. Oh man, it's gonna be a good one. What a day! <laughs> Again, please let me be a part of that, man. I want to see that one. Come on over that girls' match. Mm. That's a three, no cut off. Again, drive inside, no good. Jump ball. Panther ball. Going back to Pikesville. Technical foul call. Technical foul call from the Lady Engineers, number five, the Briar Clark. Ah, there might have been a freshman move there by Clark there. Uh, I think she said something she said. Not good. Foul. And 
at the line. Coach Abel, they have the rap, bro. Absolutely. Good coaching. As soon as you make a mistake like that, an emotional mistake, let's have a conversation, yeah. settle down. Understand the moment. Right. Understand we're up right now by what, 17? No reason at all. Second shot here coming up for Sterling. Get some both. Like you said, she, she got him more than half of the points here for the latest half. And I love how he just goes about a business. Supportive of the teammates. Understanding, you know, the magnitude of what's happening right now. Another grown woman move there by Virginia Stone. Thank you, trainer. I thank you, coaching staff. Shoot the mid-range game. A lost art in the game of basketball. Yes, it is. Loader, it's all off the glass, it is. Senior leadership. It's about elite girls basketball here right now, I think. Here in the DMV area, we have that. I think we have some of the best in the country. Absolutely. A lot of talent in Baltimore. You're a college recruiter, you gotta get down here. Fakes and a foul. 14 foul against foul. So the WCAC is always strong. We always talk about the Action for girls, action for St. John, Bishop McAvoy. I think the girls game, is, yeah, the girls game is more spread out than boys. It's more the good teams. The boys is kind of diluted. You know who the good teams are. You know, you don't have St. Frank, you don't have Polly, you go down to PC County. So, you know, I, I think I saw uh, Milton Mill was playing something. It was a really good game a little while back. But uh, that's most well. Yep. So go down. 50 36 game and 14 point lead here for Polly. And they push the tempo throughout. That's a three for Clark. Woo, baby. I'm about to rock the baby to sleep right there. Listen. You got about 16 tonight. She's, she's not afraid to let it go. Off the jumper, no good. Out of bounds, ball goes back to Piper. In the play, you can tell the price was that pass has been over the entire game. And instead of making the pass, you take the ball to him. So just young, man, I, I'm excited to see what Coach Dukes is going to do with this game. I wouldn't be surprised to see it just the in the matchup they got Mr. Dunner. So you gotta put something with him. That's a three. Sterling. Step to miss. Side got it! That's a goal. Nothing like being a senior. Woo! Man, nothing like being a senior. Woo, man. The confidence, knowing that the coach has the confidence on you to do that. Move that. Good move. Good move. Good move. Good move. But you know, you know what I'm saying with Paiso, a lot of isolation one on one, and I guess a team like Pine Transition is almost plays into the hand. Absolutely. See, now they letting her work. The sport go low, let her go one on one, let her play. Will send D. It is good D. Float up. And one. Come on. Oh. You got a point guard that can handle, strong and aggressive. That's a great combination for him. Uh, if the big comes to help, she's going to put him in the pocket. The foul ball. Yes, Ali got close right last year with 3A. It's look like a championship 3A team right now. Uh, they're playing like it. Finish it. Finish it. You know, they, had, they, had to, they stumbled the toe a little bit against Riverdale Baptist, but they fought hard in that game. You know, New Hope. But outside of those two games, it gets you ready. And like we said, those two programs can do a lot more than others. I mean, when you talk about New Hope and those schools, those girls, they're, they're recruited to those schools to play basketball. They don't play lacrosse and soccer and, and, and softball. These kids that go to school here, they're not just basketball players. Like, they're athletes. So when you, when you take a basketball player, that's all that they do. Then, then it's gonna be a different. It's gonna be a different outcome. Good take, Rhea. Good take. Do it again. Not 
feel like a 20 point game right now. It doesn't feel like it though, does it? No, it does not. The lady with the ball has played so. every minute. Well, 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 what we minute. like to call a uh, messaging stick game shows you what, and that's about, shows you what Pikeville want to get to, where Pauly is at. Absolutely. But again, it goes back to having, I mean, you got four seniors on the floor. Oh, right now, you have two seniors on the floor. Those young ladies have played a lot of the table and understand what she's looking for. Directing traffic, telling girls where to go. Oh, oh. Ball stays with uh, Highfield. 234 left. Again, Sterling is a little sportsmanship. Young lady falls down. She helps her up. I love it. What I love to see both benches are deep. Right. Both benches are deep. Nice hustle. Oh, come on. <laughs> I know about that. Hey, man, good, good hustle. You know, the freshman getting on the floor. She's, she's going to be a, she's gonna be tough to call in the next two or three years. She's going to be a really good player. Sterling, face the shot. You can hear people in the gym saying, take her, go by her, take her. So it's, 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 good, it's a good thing for girls basketball here. Definitely. And a foul. Mm. Oh, they said, Karen, what's up? I know you're thinking that in here, Everson's uh, coaching staff, 9-1 and one right now. They lost the city last Friday on the boys' side. Rock Creek Christian Academy, which goes around the state and the country, what do you think Everson needs to do to get the upset in some of this? Again, we're going to go back to it again. They play basketball year-round. Emerson got football players and cross players. So it's going to be tough, but I know one thing about Emerson, they're not going to quit. It's going to be a scrappy, gritty, gritty game the entire time. Bound. Go back to Pikesville. Just a tad bit out of control. Still in the four low set, but that time passed. It was going to get now. And quickly on that Rock Creek Christian game, they played Lake Clifton last night. Went out to a big lead on Lake Clifton, and the Lakers comeback came up a bit short. That one goes in. Right. 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 That it was. 140 left. Time out by And we're going to take one to, we have wrapped this one up shortly, stay tuned. Back to game action here, 138 left. Pilate looking like they want to look good going into that game against Pilate. Really a statement game for them. It's a three. Good night, Irene. Mm. Good screen set by the big. Three. Senior comes right off and knocks it down. Inside, off the back, no good. Lady Engineers. 11 and 2, coming in that showdown. Mike for only second. One minute left to go in the contest. Got to see Frederick early in the year. They'll be on court two tomorrow against St. Andrews. Who is that? Uh, Frederick. Uh, okay. Played, uh, they beat Polly last year in the 3A championship game out in Towson. But maybe that, maybe that, that. That stumbling block is, is it going to college and probably will be able to, <laughs> to overcome Maybe this year. Hope you don't get back. That's a three. City. Spend out. Second slap here. Holly goes looking good. Committed to playing one on one. It's a three. Tired now. That's all. Two shots coming. 
Sarah was a little short on jumping out. He's getting tired. She's played every minute of the game. Different style too. When you look at you look at it the whole game. You know, Pikesville is more guards dribble, penetrate, create one on one. Probably's more pass the ball, cut, methodical situation. So I think that, that this is just a two different styles of basketball. And uh, I think probably was just too strong for Pikesville this time. Five, four, three, two, one. That's gonna do it. Nice statement ran by Powell. Oh, she did it again! Put the ice on that one! I don't even know what to say. Like, like my mouth is absolutely dropped on the floor. It's going to be a tough decision. I mean, both Just let them all go out there together. Yep. Just let them all go out there together. And both teams, I believe, are supposed to get one they do. Yep. Thought. We only do this once a year, but still, I admit it sometimes. From Whitesville, today's MVP award winner is... Miss 15. Number 15, Kristen. Again, a bit of their meaning. Really cool understanding that this is what I'm supposed to do. And then also saying, we're going to get to where you guys are. I love the back of her shirt, make them believe. Yep. I love it.
defense right there. Jones over to the eight. That's a kick. 13 throws it down. This one by 12. Baldwin up to Murphy. And Toes with the rebound. Kicks it inside. How about Jason Murphy with the and one? It's become a, it's become a duck fest. Yeah, the Hoop Festival. Back over to the ace. Uh oh. Inside. Jason Murphy throws it down again. As we said before, a dump pass at the Baltimore Hoops Festival here in this third quarter for St. Francis. Mitchell was looking for a duck instead. Here comes West. All the way to the basket. Turned it over. Ace, uh-oh, baby. Yes, sir. Air toes ready for takeoff. Good one indeed. 